Ransomware, in addition to cyber extortion and cyber blackmail, are the most common forms of cyber crime and perhaps the most effective. These cyber crimes can cost a lot more than the initial payment. They also cost time, productivity, and reputation. In this video, we'll go over some common examples of cyber crimes and what you can do to prevent them. Examples of ransomware. The first ransomware appeared in 1989. Hackers mailed floppy disks to unsuspecting victims who inadvertently installed the malware on their computers. To get the key, the victim had to mail either $189 or $378 to Panama. Today's cyber criminals operate a similar racket, but with greater technical prowess. The WannaCry ransomware attack in 2017, which was linked to the North Korean government, infected about 200,000 computers in 150 countries. Bad Rabbit was ransomware that affected European and Russian users. Unlike like WannaCry, which spread randomly, Bad Rabbit targeted its victims, which included the Odessa airport and Kiev's mass transit system. Cyber extortion. Extortion means demanding a good, service, or payment to prevent violence or destruction of property. Some cyber criminals get ahead of the competition by demanding money before they hurt you. Much like the mobsters of yore who wanted payment for security services, these cyber extortionists basically tell you to pay them or they will lock up your system. For instance, a hacker may send malicious traffic using a bot overwhelm the site with more requests than it can handle, or simply shut it down. Cyber blackmail. Blackmailers employ the psychology of fear and shame to motivate victims. In these cases, the cyber criminal will claim that he's been inside your computer, snap screenshots of embarrassing photos or searches, and recorded sketchy video using your camera. He will threaten to send the screenshots and pics to everyone in your address book, or post them on social media unless you pay up. It's basically cyber blackmail. It's a particularly insidious kind of crime. In fact, some hackers are even targeting children. Cyber blackmail doesn't only affect individuals, but it also harms companies. Hackers claim they have stolen sensitive data from a company's storage and threaten to expose it unless paid off. Many times, the hacker has no evidence at all and is simply bluffing. Next steps. One way to assess the credibility of an extortion scheme or blackmail threat is at Have I Been Pwned. This site lets you see what breaches your email address has been associated with so you can determine if the password that is supposedly compromised and used for the cyber extortion or blackmail is simply from a previous breach or if the hacker really has broken into your system. In no case should you pay off a cyber criminal even if you think they have something on you. A qualified cybersecurity services provider can help you determine the appropriate response and also protect you against future ransomware. Cyber blackmailers almost never have the goods on you they say they have, and extortionists are probably no match for your cybersecurity service provider or internal cybersecurity squad. Report cyber criminals to the FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center. Penetration testing. At Alpine Security, our penetration testing services and training can help prevent both ransomware and extortionware. We can also help you know what to do if a hacker uses ransomware to lock down your systems. Penetration testing can help identify gaps in systems and networks, and our user awareness training, including our phishing services, can identify gaps in user training. To learn more about protecting your organization from ransomware, cyber blackmail, and cyber extortion, or if you have an incident, contact us today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.